first photo is of the Phoebe Part 15431. It is bog standard, 2 OEM quality spring seat mount for the front strut of the Volvo 2001 to 2008 ish, which is to say not terribly good, and might last a year or two at most, by many accounts. It's sold as a V70 product but it appears identical to many others e.g. the saloon or sedan, version of the same Volvo. It weighs 581 grams according to an Amazon listing. The next photo shows the only heavy-duty version I could find, made by IPD who are well-known Volvo and Swedish parts suppliers. I do not have a postal weighing machine or other accurate scale I would use on this, so I just compared it using a balancing technique. This gives me a comparison with a known mass, here that is the Phoebe standard spring seat. In short it's a seesaw, and like when a parent and child are on a seesaw, the parent has to sit closer to the fulcrum or pivot point in the middle, because the mechanical advantage to the child means the seesaw balances. I used a broken curved bit of a concrete tile, to balance my spirit level on, because helpfully it has distance markings on its 900mm length. But, you could just use a plank and any suitable lump to put under the middle point as a pivot or fulcrum, then you just measure it. You get a number if you measure the distance from the fulcrum times the mass placed at that distance. I just took it that the center of gravity was in the middle of the component, we could argue all day about technicalities and it would not change anything significant. So, there will be a number for the Phoebe on the left times its distance to the pivot, and a number for the IPD on the right times its distance from the pivot. We had to move our IPD unit in a bit, to make that number be the same, i.e. achieve balance. The proportion of the extra distance inward the IPD had to be moved, compared to the Phoebe, is the same but inverse of the mass difference. Confused, I found the IPD to be two-sevenths heavier, and next I describe how I figured this out. Children do this in primary or first school with a wooden beam design, and a load of oval-shaped metal weights with a hole at one end. They simply fit these over pegs on the wooden beam and make it balance with various combinations. Several weights can go on the same peg ETC. My spirit level beam has its pivot at the 450mm point, and the Phoebe sits on the left at the 800mm mark or 350mm out to the left, and the IPD had to be set at the 150mm mark to balance the beam or 250mm out to the right. This means the IPD one is 2 sevenths heavier because it can sit 2 sevenths nearer the fulcrum or pivot point than the Phoebe spring seat, to make the beam balance, that is, 350 mm is 100 mm further out to the advantage of the Phoebe so the IPD must be heavier. We just used the fraction of 100 over 350. That gives us 1 over 3.5 or the same as 2 over 7. This is not an easy number, but approximately 1 seventh is 14 percent, and 2 sevenths is therefore 28 percent, plus a little bit. So, rounding horribly, we get that the IPD component is nearly 30% or not far short of a third heavier than the Phoebe, using the Phoebe as the standard because it is closest to the OEM dimensions. This felt about right from holding the items, and a visual inspection shows the IPD has less of a dint where the rubber sinks around the tube part visible at the top where the strut damper rod goes through. Plus from a side profile, there seems more material, a deeper skirt, and then again looking at the top where the splined rubber features meet the base area, the depth of rubber there is more too, the shoulders you might say. That's it, it is the only heavy duty version I could find. There is talk of some other one Volvo supposedly make for the XC90 all wheel drive cars, but I could not find any information anywhere on this, and no dimensions or mass details etc, so it is mythical as far as I am concerned impossible to distinguish on the internet from any other spring seat mount, and there are lots of the weedy looking ones that weigh 581 grams or less, floating around at 12 British pounds a shot. The IPD ones are nearly four times that price. I still have no long-term report back on how long they last, but given a lot of stuff on replacing this OEM flimsy part, is four to eight years old online. That there is no news is probably good news.